a symbol of early 20th century development of active volunteer militias, a historic hub for social events, and a conspicuous neighborhood landmark. The story of the Lake Street Armory goes beyond traditional military history in our community. I am standing at the Lake Street Armory in St. Catharines, Ontario to bring you History From Here, a video series brought to you by the St. Catharines Museum and Welland Canal Centre. Built in 1905, the Lake Street Armory was to replace a drill shed located on Raymond Street that had been destroyed by a tornado in 1898. Construction of this more permanent structure came during an era of renewed interest, reform and expansion in the Canadian military. Many of the Canadian armories built in the period between 1896 and 1914 were designed with similar architectural inspiration, including the features that make the Lake Street Armory stand out. Red brick walls with a quarry face stone foundation and the medieval military features such as the crenellated corner towers and troop doors reminiscent of fortified gates. This new facility was initially built to serve as a headquarters for local militia units across Niagara, including the 10th St. Catharines Field Battery Artillery, or the 10th Battery of the 56th Field Regiment, the 2nd and 10th Dragoons, and the 19th Lincoln Regiment, later known as the Lincoln and Welland Regiment. The armory was used for military recruitment, training, storage for military equipment, and as a starting, ending, or resting point for troops during marches. The land in front of the building, now a parking lot, was once a grassy field used for drills, or as a place for troops to set up their bell tents. The Lake Street Armory has also served as an enlistment location during war. Beyond its military use, the armory was also once a social hub for the community. The vast size of the building's main hall provided ample space for large public events. The armory would often open its doors to exhibitions, including from the St. Catharines Horticultural Society, festivals, banquet dinners, dances, car shows, concerts, soapbox derby clinics, and even wrestling matches. While the use of the Lake Street Armory for public gatherings began to fade after the 1970s, some major community events continued to be hosted here, including Course Niagara's 2013 presentation of Verity's Requiem, featuring over 200 musicians, and the Mayor's annual New Year's Day levy. The Lincoln and Welland Regiment continues to operate and train out of the Lake Street Armory today. To honor the local men and women who have served, the Lincoln and Welland Regiment Memorial Garden was dedicated in 1994. The garden includes a commemorative plaque honoring Colonel Graham Thompson Lyle, who earned the Victoria Cross for his efforts during the First World War, and an M5A1 Stuart tank, which was brought to Canada from Holland in 1946 as a Second World War souvenir. An ornate yet imposing presence on this urban streetscape, the Lake Street Armory weaves a thread through many stories in St. Catharines history. This building has served as a familiar space for generations of not only military service members, but regular members of our community as well. Today, the armory continues to embody the collective spirit and identity of Canada's military, from young cadets to veterans and every member in between.